Hi everyone. In the next three days, we will be building a simple application that shows how to use binding. Binding is very common pattern being used in Coca application. However, it is not available to Coca Touch, uh, meaning the iOS. So uh, for a lot of iOS developers coming to the Mac OS uh, development environment, is a very new thing to learn about and uh, we are going to build this simple application with the user information um, today let's set up uh, the main um, controls and layout and do very simple uh, connections between them um, here is the application and I'm going to start with a uh, table view so it will show a table here uh, with uh, two columns, one is the first name and the other one is the last name. Some default information being shown in the storyboard is um, helping us to develop. Uh, what I want to do is by clicking on um, this row, it will show uh, on the right side with the test view. So that I can modify it and save it back later on. So I will have the label here to indicate what I'm going to show in. And for instance, I will use a push button to add new uh, content to the table. I will expect to um, add a default first name and last name to the table and be able to modify on the right side. Um, in order to use binding, uh, with the table view, we can make use of the array controller. Uh, array controller is what we discussed before on day 6. We also talked about table view on day 4. So if you are interested uh, to look at different examples, please go to take a look. But now I'm going to drag the array controller to our table here. Um, now it's time to create the model part. So I'm going to make a new groups here, which um, this application may become very big, and ah, that's what I imagine. So I want to have some kind of groupings to make the uh, tree diagram here look like more clean. And then let me start with just a swift file, and um, say call it a user model. Um, this is a user and I will need to extend NS object in order to use this um, um, model for the data binding because data binding actually works on top of KVO and um, NS object provide the necessary feature to support uh, KVO uh, which is a uh, key value observing and I will need some field inside, like first name, which is a string, and I'm giving a default value. Last name, string as well. I want to make these two attributes to be um, KVO compliant, so I will need to set them into dynamic. Otherwise, uh, even the model attribute uh, value is changed, it won't reflect on the UI. So that's it for now. Then I'm going to the view controller. View controller is the um, controller class uh, backing our current view in the storyboard. And I will be storing uh, the data uh, of, I mean, the array of users in this class as well as uh, linking those controls. So 
So let's start with uh here. I will have a users array. Initially, it's an empty array. Also, if I want to uh, use this as a KVO compiler, I will need to say to dynamic as well. All right. Now it's time back to storyboard. And first of all, go to the array controller. And here in the attribute inspector, I will need to change the class name of the array controller, um, meaning what kind of uh, model I am using for this array controller. Um, as mentioned in a previous session about array controller, this class name shall start with the module name, and our current module name is binding. This is really important, otherwise um, the array controller won't be able to find the corresponding class. And our model class right now is user, so all together is binding dot user. Then go to the binding, and this array controller uh, has the content array. We need to point to the array we created in real controller um, in order to uh, serve as the temporary data storage. So I'm going to bind to real controller and then change the model key path to users. As you can see, after selecting real controller, I'm able to choose users here already. Mm, next thing, I need to point my table view um, to use the array controller so that I can grab the array users and display on the table. In order to do that, I see a table view. I can see it through the storyboard or I open it on the sidebar. Then find the binding inspector in the table content part there's a content I'm going to set this check it and use the default value inside lastly I need to connect the add button to the array controller simply dragging from add to array controller and choose add here now let's run the application. Now I'm able to add many user objects and are being stored in the array, which is a temporary storage. It will go away if I close the application. And the array um is linked to array controller. Array controller provides the content to the table view so that it is now able to display here. Um, quickly, I will also want to show the information on the right side as well. So, first, I'm going to open the controller using assistant editor by doing alternate click on the class so that I can uh, drag the table view to the class here table view and then drag the test view let's call it first name view and Last name view. Also, I would need to know uh, when the user uh, select a particular row and be able to get the user object uh, of that row and use it to display on the right side. Um, the select 
uh, method is provided by the NS table view delegate. So I want to add the delegate uh, to the view controller. Uh, I can implement the protocol by putting it here, NS table view delegate. But in order to make the code cleaner and later on uh, decoupling into different class files, I'm going to make use of the Swift extension, extension of view controller. And in this extension, I'm going to implement the NS table view delegate method uh, protocol. And within this extension, I can uh, implement the corresponding delegate method, which is the um, selection table view selection did change. I can print um, the table view dot selected row to see which row I'm clicking on. The first row is zero. Okay, I have set this, but I did not set my current table views delegate to this class yet. So, last thing to do is back to the table view here. Make sure you select the table view. And in the connection, uh, there is a delegate here, and then drag it back to view controller. So now I know this view controller is the uh, delegate of the table view. By running the application, adding some users, click the first one, it's printing out zero, one, two, Lastly, what I want to do is to grab the user object from the user's array using the table row, table view dot selected row. This is the user object of that particular row. And then simply I can do a first name view dot string value to set the user dot first name and same for the last name. Now it is able to show on the right side. Tomorrow we'll be going to modify the information and be able to reflect back to the table view. Talk to you soon.